Welcome to today's The Word in a Flash. I'm Freddie Wilson. Today's subject is God will prosper us. I'm sure you heard a lot of teaching, a lot of preaching about prosperity, but oftentimes those things that we learn don't necessarily talk about things we need to do in order for us to get there. We must repent from the sinful things in our past. Once we do, God has a plan to prosper us. One way to start doing the things that we need to do is to learn how to tithe from the money that we bring in. Malachi 3 and 10 calls for us to bring all the tithe to the storehouse so there will be enough food in my temple. God showed us in Malachi that if we do, he will pour out a blessing so great that we won't have enough room to store it. Malachi even shows us that we can put God to the test in our faith through our giving. Psalms 126 and 3 says God has done amazing things for us. God has done things for us whether we believe it or not. He's being God. He just does things for people whether they're believers or not. At other times, God blesses us as believers for uh, being obedient to his will and to his guidance. We must have faith that God will provide for us. Hebrews 11 and 1 says faith is being sure of what we hope for and being convinced of what we do not see. Hebrews 11 and 6 says without faith it's impossible to please him for the one who approaches God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. Some of you have heard my stories of when I was being deployed to Afghanistan in 2006 then I got deployed again to Iraq in 2009. Well, around 2013, it, my supervisor was telling me they were getting ready to select me again to go deploy somewhere else again. And right about this time, I decided this is enough. I pray God help me with this because I've done my share. I've done more than my share of these things. So we cannot let this happen again. I went back and told my boss that we we're going to boldly tell these folks, no, I'm not going this time. Enough is enough and I should not go. And oddly enough, I shouldn't say oddly because God is good. They came back and said, okay, I will not have to go. That's me standing on faith and being bold enough to face my problem without being fearful of what they may say or think of me. God is so good. The next way to get to prosperity is learning how to pray. You need to pray diligently and regularly. I pray to God, the first thing I do to, when I get up in the morning, turn off my alarm clock, I get on my knees and thank God for sending another day. That's the last thing I do at night after I prepare for bed is get on my knees and thank God for blessing me to, see, uh, to get through another day. I'm constantly in prayer during the days, asking God for guidance on the things I have to deal with. That's how I learn how to depend on God to get through the things I have to face because every day is not going to be the same. And it's not always easy. But with God, I know I'll get through it. And I have faith in him that he will make things better for me no matter what I have to deal with. Prayer will prepare us to endure our daily, the daily grind if we trust God can get us through it. Oftentimes in my prayer, I just thank God for being who he is. For giving me peace of mind to face the things I have to deal with so I won't have to worry about things. It's not that I can't worry, it's just that I don't worry because I have faith in God to know that he will deliver me. And sometimes it gets weary sometimes because I see things in front of me just like you do. But then I know that, hey, I put this in God's hands and he brought me through every time. Like many of you, I face times in my life where I'm just about ready to pay off a lot of things or debts going down, things looking better, and wham, something else hits you. And I just have to say, Lord, what's going on? But I just know through it all, God is there for me. I have faith in God that he's there for me. I've had situations where in 2013 again, where uh, my son was getting ready to go back to school. He had his last little bit to do. And we just did not have the finances to do so. 
and I had to fall down on my knees and say, Lord, my son has done a lot in order to get through school. I can't see him going out now. We prayed about it. We dealt with it to the point where we actually find ourselves asking for help. Don't you know that sometimes God will send people to help you when you think it's all about you? We had a family member help us through that situation at that time, and we were able to go keep him in school. And the next time around, God blessed us to be able to keep him in school without asking for help from anyone else. But again, God showed us what to do. Sometimes we have to uh, give up pride to move forward in life. We have to realize sometimes it's not always about us in the things that we do, that God can help us through other people. But we have to know that through it all, God will take care of us and make things better for us, no matter what we're dealing with. I mentioned that last example to show us that sometimes we have to do unusual things to move forward in life in order for God to prosper us. Keep in mind, prosperity is not always about money. It could be elevation on your job. It could be elevation in your community. It could be getting you through school to, to, to a different level that you didn't think was possible. It could be landing that job that you thought or getting that promotion. You never know. Each thing is different for different needs with different people. But you should know, as I know, that if you trust God, he'll see you through. So I'm, at, I'm telling you now, put your faith in God and he will prosper you. And as always, be blessed.